Hey guys, thank you for joining me on Angel Works. Everyone, Tim, my name is Gladys. And this is your new moon in Aquarius message. I hope you guys are having a good month. And thank you guys so much for coming back and joining me on my channel. If you've not seen me before, I do tell you what I see, hear, and feel. And I use these cards as tools. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This is for all zodiac signs. I will be doing individual messages for everybody after this. So come back and check out those videos. We are going to start off with these three for you guys. Starting off with the Seven of Swords, you are dealing with an Aquarius Moon energy person, a Libra, a Leo Virgo type person. There's somebody around you that's being very sneaky, very deceptive. Someone here is doing undermining things or they have done something that wasn't very honest and truthful and they're either trying to get away from somebody that is behaving this way or they're trying to get away from being this way being deceptive and sneaky i would be aware of your surroundings and people around you i feel as if somebody is waiting for you to move or like to make the next move move into another room go into another space they're waiting for you to leave so that they can do something that's not in the best interest of you the hermit somebody is Reflecting on all of the bad things that has occurred. There has been some backstabbing going on. This is Virgo and Chiron healing energy This person's going within they're contemplating they're in their head. They're thinking too much about everything that has occurred This could be a Capricorn Saturn energy that you're dealing with as well This person is very wise. They have been through a lot and they are Contemplating on how to handle the situation of this deception that has went on they are trying to be a better version of themselves and get away from people that are toxic, that are lying, that are dishonest and disloyal. They're looking for a higher vibration type person to be around them. And they are seeking for peace, mind, and tranquility. They are looking for someone that they can be harmonious with. And here it is, this person here, the Knight of Swords. Somebody cut somebody away and it caused somebody to think about the situation, about what has occurred. You could be dealing with a Gemini, Sagittarius, a Capricorn. This person here is running off to go after their dreams they have been through a lot of sneaky behavior of deceptive ways of being and they're ready to let that go and they're going to go forward and find that true emotional bond that they are seeking within themselves they're trying to find happiness they're looking for somebody that is not going to be in and out in the relationship it's going to be faithful what is the deal with this seven swords being here spirit gods what is the deal with the seven swords being here for the people watching this what messages do you have for the seven swords if you are dealing with somebody that is being deceptive toward you, it will come out during the full moon, I feel, as if it's going to be revealed. There's somebody here that is willing to take a risk and look somewhere else and go somewhere else. And by doing so, it's going to cause your relationship to end. You are going to find out your self-worth. The morals and values that you withhold within yourself may not be the same as this other person, and you're ready to move on and cut them off and go on another adventure and start something new start something fresh if you are reconciling with someone at this time you're contemplating on how, if you should take this person back because of all the deceit and lies and, and deception that went on and you're going to be truthful about the situation and you're staying guarded and you're going to make sure that this person here doesn't do this to you again you are just not sure if you can trust this person or not here's the seven of swords what's the reason of the hermit being here thank you the card fell hold on and why is the Knight of Swords here? Thank you. Okay. With the Seven of Swords, we have the Nine of Cups coming in. You're dealing with a Cancer. There's something to cherish here. This is the Nine of Cups. Your wish is coming true. You could be dealing with Sagittarius. This is Pisces Jupiter energy. I'll tell you the angel numbers at the end. But with somebody getting exposed about their behavior, someone's wishes comes true when it comes to a love situation. Here's the page of cups coming in. Emotional yearning, your first love. This is the 46th card in the deck. This is the cup family, the 11th card in the cup family. You could be dealing with a Cancer, a Virgo, an Aries, an Aquarius, a Pisces, Aries, cuss person. This is your first love, your true love. You've been waiting for your wishes to come true. You're walking away from anything that's toxic, that's not honest that's not truthful that is deceptive you know your self-worth you love yourself more than to have to put up with somebody that just doesn't value your worth value your morals has respect for you 
you are respecting yourself and loving yourself at this time and you're making your wishes come true by walking away from things that no longer serve you with this hermit being here we have the ten of wands finally something comes to an end burdens come to an end joyful burdens it's finally over this you're you're so happy and joyfully blissed that the burdens have finally came to an end and you're not going to have to do it all on your own anymore you could be dealing with an aries a capricorn a gemini aries type person this is the 31st card in the deck the 10th card in the wands family but i feel as if somebody has been through a lot of turmoil emotional turmoil a lot of relationships that has went awry and this person is looking back and seeing where their relationships begin and end and who is the one that instigates it and who's the one that ends it there was somebody here that was causing a lot of burdens in relationships and they're looking for someone that they can say that that's their other counterpart their other half and it's finally came to an end because they realize all these things it's taken them a lot of years maybe nine to ten years or nine to ten months to realize that there is a true love right there that this person isn't lying that they, they are not sneaky this person is like a wish come true it's like too good to be true and i feel as if it is true guys stop being negative stop being in your head stop putting self-doubt in your head about your relationship if you start to feel negative and having doubt of your relationship you need to speak to your person and have communication clear communication in order to resolve the situation of this conflict of what you think is betrayal in your eyes of what you see because someone could be doing something around you that may seem deceptive but they are maybe trying to sneak a little valentine something toward you guys they could be trying to hide the fact that they're trying to get you something they're trying to get away not just to be with somebody else but they're getting away to try to find you something for valentine's trying to get you a gift they are very deeply emotionally atta attached to you there needs to not be no worry about the situation you're in your head for no reason this person truly does love you you have your wishes coming true when it comes to true love this person only loves you they don't have multiple people they're, they're not giving their cup to a lot of people they're giving their cup to one and they're ready to make their wishes come true and get away from kind of relationships that want to drag them down and make them feel like they're not worthy of having true love everyone deserves true love here we have the knight of pentacles coming in with the knight of swords we're going to get another clarification with this but this is temptation somebody here is being tempted to do something that they shouldn't be doing someone could be trying to get into your relationship and ruin your relationship and you don't realize but you're getting attention from someone that you don't get from the person that you're with and you're starting to like this kind of feeling and you're being tempted to go outside of your relationship but somebody here i feel as if they're going to be strong enough to turn down this temptation because they know their self-worth they know what kind of relationship they want and they will bring it to the table the relationship how they want it to be toward them so if you are with somebody and someone else is coming in into your relationship trying to ruin your relationship you, you need to give it a second thought because if you don't you could ruin your relationship this temptation here this person is turning their back to it they are strong enough to walk away from something that is not going to be for their house good they want a healthy relationship a healthy bond with someone now let's get a clarification for this knight of swords knight of pentacles you're dealing with somebody that used to be a page and they were very childish and they've moved forward on how they want a relationship they're seeing the temptations they're seeing their weaknesses and they're seeing that's what causes people to run is if they always get tempted by someone else they can't stay honest and loyal it's like as soon as they're left alone they're tempted to reach out to someone else maybe somebody from their past and if this is the case then maybe you shouldn't be with the person if this is you or your other the person you're with if somebody here is getting tempted then maybe they're not ready to settle down and be with that person your one is going to know that you're the one and they're not going to look anywhere else they're not going to want to text other people or, or talk to other people or meet up with other people or go out by themselves to go see other people or see if they can find somebody better you're not going to be with somebody that's going to treat you like that why would you treat somebody like that if you don't want to be treated that way you know your self-worth you know your values and you know your morals now what is the deal with this cusp person here this cusp could be a earth air quality cusp person that you're dealing with and here is your messages for this person that you're dealing with you are dealing with the ten of wands the chariot and the page of wands wow guys well, what i'm picking up here guys you got the ten of wands again this is a lot of burdens you're releasing a burdensome situation and it could have something to do with the past this is going to be a, a fast action communication coming in this is a new beginning somebody wants to clean the slate there is going to be victory they're ready to move forward and move on they've learned from their mistakes and they're ready to take this 
the mistakes that they've learned and go forward in the situation, basically. So you're dealing with Sagittarius Saturn energy with the Ten of Wands being here again. The Chariot, Cancer Venus, or you're dealing with an Aries. Or Libra. I'm also picking up Scorpio, Sagittarius, Capricorn, and Aquarius with this card, this page. So there is somebody here that was burdened. This could be a separate person. The person that this person is dealing with was burdened about something. They had a lot of burdens. They were doing things on their own for many, many years, and they're looking for someone that can do an equal give and take and that is willing to help out and do 50-50 in the relationship. We are going to pick one moon card here. What is the moon message? The new moon message for you guys is preoccupation with material possessions. Four of diamonds. So some of you here are dealing with somebody that could have a lot of material possessions and they're staying preoccupied with that. They are like going through stuff. They are trying to get rid of stuff. They're downsizing or they may have too much stuff and they need to downsize. So that's what the burdensome is, is they have too many things and they're trying to let go of things. They no longer live in a space where they can have all this stuff and they're having to downsize. They're ready to move, move on, move to a new location, a new place. I'm going to pick one of these and another bonus message. Okay, there's your message. You guys got blossoming, flower moon. I joyfully blossom and I feel no fear. This is card number 33 in the deck. I feel as if something is going to happen on the full moon coming up. This is the new moon in Aquarius. This is your chance to let go of any burdens and start fresh, start new. If you start to declutter, you need to get motivated and started in the area that you are most commonly in and start small and work a little bit at a time. Don't get tempted to run off when mistakes happen. Don't get tempted to run away when you see things that may have occurred that caused you to want to run. You could have been exposed or this person you're dealing with, this could be either or energy, that someone here got exposed to temptation and they're just ready to let go of these burdens and stop blaming another person and move forward to better themselves. Okay, now I'm going to gather all these cards up and tell you the angel numbers. And we'll end it there. This is going to be angel number 11 or angel number 32, 31, angel number 10, angel number 7, angel number 17, 12, or 75. Angel number 4, angel number 10, number 31 again, or 19, angel number 33, angel number 12, or angel number 61, angel number 9, angel number 7, angel number 9, number 44, angel number 76, angel number 46, or angel number 11 or 15. What angel message do you want me to read to these people that are watching this? What is the angel message you want me to read to these people? I need one card, please, for the angel message. One card, there you go. Okay, your one message is the Ten of Wands. Let me get the angel book. The Ten of Wands is the 31st card in the deck. So let's read angel number 31. Angel number 31 says, The Ascendant Masters ask you to look past all earthly illusions and see the divine perfection within you. Other people in your current situation, as you seek perfection in your mind, it manifests externally in your relationships, career, health, and other life areas. Like I was saying, a lot of you guys were staying stuck in your head. Your energy was being drained and pulled because of some kind of relationship that went awry, some kind of reveal occurred, and it caused you guys to have all these burdens, but finally it's being released. You're finally getting the justice that you deserve. What is the healing message for these people watching this? Come back and join me on your Twin Flame message, guys. I will be doing Twin Flame for all Zodiac signs. Scare Source. We, your angels, are here to remind you of your magnificence. You are literally an angel in the making, a being internal love and light for everyone with God and Goddesses and all creations. Scare Source. I feel as if I need to pull another card. I'm going to do this deck. I just learned this deck, guys. And there's your messages. Well, that's a lot of messages. Let's start off with this one. The Temple of Fire. Wow, guys. Let's move these out of the way. And we're going to end it here. We got the Temple of Fire going on. 
This is a scarce space of creativity. It is time for you to own your creativity and fix your space up that is around you, like I was saying earlier. Discover the story of the Selka woman. That's card. This is card number 19 in the deck. This one's number 44. This one's 42. The Moon Maiden. Discover the lunar cycles. Brianna. And then we have Trinonus, the creative. So with this one, she brings you full of self-awareness. She's letting you see something. Like I was saying, there's going to be a reveal around the cycles of the moon. It's going to be revealed. She is helping you see something that you need to see about a person. Adult man, and it could be something to do with this adult man. This person could be creative. They are down to earth. They could be loving and loyal. They may have not have been that way in the past, but they're finding stability and growing and moving forward in the situation. This person could be seeing themselves, seeing how they are portrayed toward others. They could have this perception of others being a certain way, but it's coming to the light. They are starting to see that what they give to the world, they get back. So if they want to give in a disloyal way, then disloyal people will be around them. If you project what you want in the world, that's what you get back. So if you are a dishonest, disloyal person that is always trying to be undermined and underhanded, then that's the kind of life you're going to live with people around you. That's the kind of energy you bring in. But if you start getting away from that kind of bad habits, and trying to make yourself become a better person, a better you, and bring yourself at a higher vibration and love yourself more, then that's when the higher vibrational person of yourself comes out and people will see you in a different light in a different way. You are very creative and this is a good time right now to bring out your creativity. You just have to let it go and give it to the universe, all the bad past behaviors and forgive yourself and those around you that cause some kind of heartache and turmoil. But I feel as if you are being protected and guided right now at this time. And you do not have to be drowning in your emotions. There is a fire that you can light up in your creativity that will be an outlet for you to get your mind off things of the past things. There's something that you like to do. Whatever it is that you like to do, your hobby. Or if you don't have a hobby, you need to start making a hobby and getting a hobby. To start off, if you don't have a hobby, you can get you a notebook. And when you watch my videos, you can start making notes and learning these decks if you like. Or you can have your own hobby and do whatever it is that you like to do. And spend time doing something that you love to do that makes you escape from what this was that was causing you to have burdens and sorrow and sadness and just release it. I hope you guys enjoyed this message. Please come back and join me on your individual messages that I will be doing for the Valentine messages. I am also going to be doing the Aquarius birthday message and I will be including the twin flame message for all signs. So I hope you guys come back and join me on those videos and always remember treat others the way you want to be treated. God bless.